Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we actually build a topology in GNS3. So let's get started. Now, everything is set up and you should see your uh, both your PC and the GNS3 VM uh, showing green in the server summary. So now we have to create the topology. So let's say this is, name it whatever you want. Let's say uh, GNS3, GNS3 Fortinet site to site VPNs and just click OK. Now in the left side you have uh, all the browse all devices button just click on this and if we look on the topology we'll need to 48 firewalls and an, uh, an AS8. So let's grab the last version 48.6.0 and say this is first and this is the second one and also let's have a Cisco SA and I will put it, let's say here. Again, you can just follow along uh, the exact way I have arranged the devices and also the IP addressing. Now, what else? We need three VPCS, Virtual PC Simulator, one, two, and three. So let's grab that, VPCS one, and always select the Genius 3 VM, click OK. And if you if you just hold on shift and grab the VPCS, you will have the option to add the, the exact number you want. So I have, I have chosen now two. Let's click OK. Add it to the GNS3 VM and click OK. One. And this is the second one. So VPCS, VPCS. Now, if you look on the topology, you see that here I have Internet Cloud, but basically from a, from a GNS3 topology, the GNS, the sorry, the, the Internet Cloud, it's basically uh, an ISV router, so a Cisco router. So let's grab one from here. Just put it in the middle. Now, also we need a Windows machine. So I will take the Windows machine and grab it into the topology. Now, remember I have said that the Windows VM has three uh, interface cards so what you would need to do because i'm not sure this is presented in the in the free genes 3 course you have to do two things so you'd have to edit the template so right click on the windows 10 machine and click configure template and in the second tab you have the network tab you'd have to have three adapters so this is one thing and also in the the vmware in the on the vmware side if you look on the Windows machine and select it, you would have to say edit virtual, virtual machine settings and make sure that you have three adapters here. Probably you'll have one or two, but this is an easy task to add more. Just click on add, then select network adapter, then click finish. And another adapter will be, uh, will be um, appearing here. And also please make sure that you choose a custom VMnet something and we, you will not go to, uh, to to the net. We have here the VMnet 8 with net or whatever uh, VMnet uh, number you will, uh, you will have on your PC. But anyway, so making sure that you have uh, on one side in the VMware workstation three uh, NIC cards on your Windows machine and at the same time in the in the configuration template here also make sure that you have three uh, NIC cards or three adapters available. This will make sure, will, uh, will assure you that when you do the, the connection between the devices, you will have three NIC cards appearing here in the Windows 10 machine. So now that we have all of the devices on, uh, on our Genesis 3 topology, we'll have to do the connectivity. So I will just um, close the old devices and this button here is add a link, right? So click on it and let's go through, uh, through the connecting the devices. Again, click on the device, click on your uh, port, then click on whatever uh, port you want on the 40 gate. So in my case, I believe it was, let me just look. So here it is port two. Let's make it the same. So we'll go to port two. Now for the WAN interface, port one going to gigabit zero by zero. So port one, gigabit zero by zero. Then this is, let's take a look. 
port 3 going to Ethernet 0 by 0. So port 3, this will be the management going to Ethernet 0 by 0. Now let's continue going to the branch 40 gate. So in the right side. So gigabit 0 by 1 and port 1. 0 by 1 and port 1. Next, port 2 for the LAN. So port 2 for the LAN PC. And for the management, it's port 3 going to Ethernet 1.0. So Ethernet 1.0 going to port 3. Now for the ASA, so let's take a look for the ASA. It's gigabit 0 by 0 as the WAN interface. So 0 to going to gigabit 0 by 0 and 0 by 1 going to the test PC or LAN PC. And we also need some connectivity for the management uh, management uh, port. And that's it. I'll just drag it uh, a little bit like this so that we, we can see the links like they're traversing. Anyway, if you also want to see uh, the, the naming of the interfaces, just click on this button. So show hide interface labels. If you click on this, you will have all the interface labels here. You can just drag it so that it's easier to see like this and arrange it just the way you want. One more thing, you can also change the host name. So instead of 4 gates, uh, 6.0.0-1 and 6.0.0-2, uh, you can just right click, change host name and say HQ 40 gate. And that's it. Again, you can do the same for all of the ports and all of the namings so right click change host name and this is branch 48 when you want to for example if you want to do that to add your uh, ip addressing uh, on on the scheme on the on the diagram just to ha have it more visible you can use this button so i will click here and say 192.168.1.0 slash 24 you can also edit the text and change the color so that it's uh, the way you want. I've chosen to have red, but anyway, this is just an option that uh, you may want to, to take. So after configuring um, and uh, basically building this topology, you will be ready to start with the, with the next uh, section where we start the configuration of the devices. Again, this is an easy setup and absolutely uh, impressive uh, what GNS3 has done for us for the network engineer community and I highly advise you to practice uh, on your PC if obviously you don't have the real uh, hardware devices in order to build the topology which is more harder and it takes more time and so on so you have seen that going through the GNS3 course I don't know it takes an hour or so to, to understand how you, uh, how you should build the topology or maybe you're already a user um, uh, an experienced user of the GNS3, uh, GNS3 software, free software. And this, uh, uh, this topology ha we have built together in, I don't know, a couple of minutes. So it's absolutely a fantastic tool so that you can practice along whatever, uh, whatever um, uh, topics and technologies you want for different vendors because it's a multi-vendor um, software. So you can see that I have Cisco, I have FortiGate, I also have uh, Windows machines, Palo Alto, and so on. So absolutely uh, important to build a topology so that you're, uh, you're ready to practice along with me through all of the course topics. So thank you again for your time and see you in the next section where we start the actual course topology uh, configuration. Thanks a lot.